Check that big board. You know, we came all the way back to a minus 20, I think it was. We did. Now we've gone back down to a minus 115, OK? Joining us now, Fox News contributor Scott Martin. What the devil's going on? I mean, I, I can't explain <laughs> this. Down, up, down. What's going on? Uh, it looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking, Stuart. That's a Lloyd Bridges reference. Um, yes. I'll tell you what. Um, it's, it's the market being the market, man. I, I really can't put it another way. I mean, the market is really embracing this volatility right now because you had the, uh, let's say, erudite uh, Gary Kaltbaum on last hour who was talking about how the market is having to deal with a lot of cross currents. And I think one thing that's going on right now, Stuart, is we're seeing interest rates and the movements therein day to day, week to week, really change the uh, outlook of stocks. And as rates go up, as those rates bump up or they bump down, stocks tend to react the opposite direction. OK, is the worst over? I don't think so. Um, I do think, though, the worst is not bad. Let me put it that way, in the sense that I don't think things are going to get terrible. But I do feel like, uh, like Gary Kalbaum said, I do feel like there's another flush at hand because the Netflix reaction and some of the reactions like from Adobe after earnings, after we see this huge pop after hours and then selling thereafter as far as the next couple days, tells me that this market wants to go down before it's going to go up. Gotcha, Scott. Hold on a second. I want to talk about Facebook. Some investors in Facebook, like public pension funds and some state officials, mm. they want Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, to step down as the leader of the company. They're upset about the data scandals at Facebook. Do you think it's time for Zuckerberg to step aside? If you want the stock to go down, yeah. <laughs> and that's the funny thing about these pension funds. I mean, it's like if you're talking about kicking out Zuckerberg and maybe even a couple other executives. I mean, Sheryl Sandberg is one that kind of has her neck on the line with this privacy issue. She was in front of Congress talking about that some months ago. Um, gosh, Stuart, I mean, they better sell the stock before they push Zuck out because Facebook needs Zuckerberg. And frankly, so do the investors. So I think he's had a little bit of trouble dealing with some of the controversies there. He's been behind the curve. But he is the best for the company, and I believe in him. And we own Facebook still at these levels. And you're not selling at this point? No, we're not. I think it's too late to sell, frankly, as I think those pension funds are figuring it out. And I think Facebook here has got a reasonable valuation to it. So we'd actually be adding here once this volatility kind of settles down. All right. We hear you. Scott Martin, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.